All right, so I am uh, gonna leave actually very soon to Slovenia to climb the highest mountain of Slovenia, Trihlav. A little bit about the climb. This is a two-day climb to the hut. It's five hours. In the hut, we sleep one night there. And then from the hut to the top, and from the top back to the hut, it will be approximately like three to four hours. And then from the hut, so that same day, down all the way to the bottom, it is another five hours. Uh, and you know, that's it. Tomorrow is the day to go and climb Trichlav. Uh, today, well, just gonna take it easy. Gonna start the day off with uh, a cappuccino here downstairs in the bar and doing some work. And then I'm going off to buy socks. Uh, need one more pair of socks, actually. And uh, to do some food shopping as well, uh, to have food for, yeah, tomorrow for the climb. Going here a little bit through the equipment. Food wise, probably will have like three sneakers for every day. They're gonna pick me up at 8 a.m., which is a pretty okay time. Had uh, with uh, previous mountains, like moments where I had to stand up at like 4 a.m. So it is pretty relaxed actually. I guess at 9 or 10 a.m. we'll start the climb. Super excited, honestly. <laughs> um, but well, let's get tune and pack everything for tomorrow morning, the big day, the scale trick love. So today is a summit day. It's a little bit windy outside, um, like really windy.
did not sleep actually a lot because always someone has to be snoring <laughs> in this case as well um but yeah got a little bit of sleep in so yeah we'll uh, get some water drink some water and eat some food always trying to get one thing up that you can get up so if i haven't slept much i'll at least try to drink enough and eat enough uh so that's already something <laughs> that will give me energy um but yeah the weather is looking okay it's just uh, super windy but uh yeah, should be all right now hey <laughs> <laughs> hey man thanks for bringing us up here thank you so much thank you great thank you thanks Marco. appreciate it man hey man come here hey. good job <laughs> uh, i mean i feel like we gotta touch it right <laughs> <laughs> it's so new that Just got back here in Belgium after a pretty awesome adventure that ended yesterday. Um, yeah, just, uh, ah man, every time I climb a mountain I feel like a kid in a big playground. You know, it's just, it's awesome. You know, this is what makes a good adventure. It's not just a smooth ride with sunshine the whole time that's not a good adventure like doing this you will struggle you will you will suffer actually you know and the first day we were really steep hiking up and you know for six hours in this snow so each step you took you kind of slipped away 
So there was a lot of effort in there. It was really warm as well. So you were like sweating as hell because you were like going up. You don't really have any food. Like you got some muesli bars with you and you don't drink a lot because I, I just had like half a liter of water. Uh, in those six hours, that was the only thing I drank. And then you get to the hut and it was there, you know, it was freezing cold. I slept with my all my equipment on because it was so cold. There was like heavy, heavy winds. And then the next day with like blasting wind and like hail like coming on my face like the whole time. That in combination, you know, that struggling, that suffering in combination with working so closely together with people that you don't know, but that you get to know so good in those two days. Encouraging each other, having other people encourage you, working so closely and intensively together, because literally you're, you know, you're depending on each other's life. This feeling of like working together with yourself and like mentally challenging you and physically challenging you, it's that combination that when you're back down, you're like, this is exactly why I'm doing it. For people who were watching this, looking up for some information about Triklav, I hope the video gave like a idea what the mountain has to offer. And down below in the description, I will provide way more information about uh, climbing Triklav, both in the summer and in the winter. In the winter, I would not recommend this for beginners. It's way more technical because you don't have the Via Ferratas. Like, they're covered with snow. Uh, we had a few points where we could clip ourselves in, but most of them were just covered with snow. You were more relying on your skills and teamwork, which is on its own a really amazing experience too, because you're like really, really closely working together with the people that you're with but I would not recommend it for beginners in the winter. That's definitely for intermediate, people who have experience. Then winter ascent is uh, just amazing because in the summer, it's a lot of people. In the winter, pretty much we were the only three people on the mountain. Like there were a few more, but in general, we maybe run up to like two other people, but that was it. It kind of kills the mood sometimes when there's too many people on it. Uh, so it's really cool to have that experience actually, where you can stand on the top just with the group of people that you climb together uh, with and it's like a nice celebration moment. If you have experience actually and you're watching this, looking up for some information about Trichlav, then I would definitely recommend it to do it in the winter actually. And I will also link up a, because if you don't have experience and even if you do, because I have climbing experience, but I still love to go with a mountain guide because I can learn f more from them. But also, you know, they know the terrain and, you know, you kind of can just enjoy a little bit more uh, and just follow them in a way. And because that's like one of the things that mostly causes like, you know, people to, to die because <laughs> they don't know the terrain well. And that's why having a mountain guide is uh, not a bad thing to have with you. Um, it's mostly like very fun, very fun and cool people. Uh, but I'll link down in the description as well a good website where you can find uh, mountain guides. It's actually called uh, Explore Share and it's pretty much like a platform uh, where mountain guides can put themselves on and uh, you can kind of go and select which one for which mountain you're looking to climb. So, but that includes this awesome adventure in Slovenia. There are a few more mountains actually that I'm already planning for this summer. So, uh, more mountain vlogs will come soon.